haul for you guys. I went to Sephora the other day, night. I don't remember, but I went to Sephora. I picked up a few fun little things that I wanted to show you guys, so I figured I would just go ahead and get into it. So the first thing and the reason that I went to Sephora was to get the Disney Jasmine Storybook Palette Volume 2. I bought the Cinderella one and I absolutely adore it. And now they kind of made it like this collector's item edition. So now I'm forced to go out and buy all of the other ones. But it doesn't really matter because I'm a huge, huge Disney fan. So I mean, it gives me an excuse. But I do really like this palette. I haven't really got to play with it yet. But the colors do look really, really pretty in it. And I will show you a close-up of it right here. And as you can see, it's just really pretty. The packaging is beautiful. It's the same as the Cinderella type packaging where it has the pull out draw and then you can pull out the shadows and then look at all of them. And it comes with 15 shadows, a blush, and a bronzer. It's about $55. So I would say it's well worth the money for what you're getting. Got the Benefit What's Up. I always feel so weird saying that. But I have been eyeing this for a while now. And I really wanted to get it because I've been really into highlighting lately. And I have used the crap out of my MAC Hush Cream Color Base. And I was like, I kind of want another one. But I have a lot of powders and I wanted another kind of creamy type one so I figured I would pick this up and I do actually really like it I was testing it on the back of my hand before and I gotta say I love the glow that it gives because it's subtle without being too like oh my god disco bowl or sparkly it's just a really nice kind of glow from within look the next thing that I got was the Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Blush and it's a heart-shaped blush, and it has the three different colors in it that you can swirl together, and it gives a really nice sheen on the cheeks. I saw X Barkage use this in one of her videos, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need that. The packaging is a little bit chunky, but I do like it, and it is called Candy Glow, now that I'm looking at it. And Sephora, obviously, because that's where this haul is from, they had this new Bite Beauty section, which is like a whole bunch of lipsticks. This one is actually the perfect color for this tutorial that I'm going to be doing. Looking for the right lip color for it, and this was it. These lipsticks are really pricey, and you don't get a lot of product in them, but I do love the color payoff, and they do last a long time because I tested it today. I don't have it on right now, but I tested it today, and it really did stay on all day until I took it off and did this. I would say just go for the MAC ones, but I figured I would try it out, and this color is Pastille Lilac. So... I did like that. I've been looking for a good face powder because my skin is dry, but lately it's been getting really oily in my T-zone throughout the day, so I've been looking for a really good powder. The Rimmel Stay Matte is okay, I'm just, I wanted to do more, so I figured I would go out and find a new powder. So I got the Cargo Blu-ray High Definition Makeup. Mac Barbie 07 talks about this all the time, and I figured I would just try it out. I have been using this. I got this. Um, when did I say I went to Sephora? I don't remember. But I've done my makeup a couple times between now and when I went to Sephora. And I love this powder. It's really, it really does give you like a high definition kind of a look to your face. It's very flawless without being powdery. And that's always a plus for me. So it was, I think this is $32, which is absolutely ridiculous for a powder. But I would say it's completely worth it and you do get a decent amount of product. Up a new Tarte Amazonian 12 Hour Clay Blush. This one is in Natural Beauty and it is just a really bright red and I love bright colors for my cheeks. I am pale so I can pull off the bright colors so I do like to take advantage of that when I can. And I saw this in the store and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this and it reminds me of a NARS blush and I don't remember what it's called. I think it was called Cactus Flower. It reminds me of that but it doesn't have the sheen and the sparkle in it. It's just a matte blush. So I really wanted to get that because I try to stay away from the blushes that have all these glittery things in them because I do like to highlight my face and when I highlight and I have glitter it's just way too much. I wanted to get a new kind of uh, what is the word I'm looking for? A cream blush. So I got this Steela Convertible Lip Color in Sweet Pea. And what it is, it's just a really bright pink color. And I have another one of these that I got and I loved it. I love the staying power of it. I love the finish of it on my face. So I figured I would pick up another one for the spring and give that a whirl. And, and then the next thing that I got and the last thing that I got is something that I've been eyeing for a really long time. I've been playing with the idea back and forth of whether I should get it or not. 
because it is a little bit pricey, but I got the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Eyeliner in 23L. It is the shimmery champagne -y nude color. I typically use white on my waterline. I don't like to use black anymore. I don't really know why. I typically smudge a color right underneath my lash line and then I'll use white in the waterline. But sometimes for what I'm doing everyday makeup, white gets to be a little bit too much in my eye. And then I'll use concealer sometimes. Like I have the Urban Decay concealer stick, the pencil looking ones. So I use that sometimes, but even that's too stark for me. So I did get this. I'm wearing it today. Probably can't even tell. But I do really like this because it just kind of cancels out any discoloration on the waterline. And I do love the way that these things stay. And that is everything that I bought from Sephora. I hope that you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you rate, comment, and subscribe. All that other good stuff. And until the next time, I will see you on the next video.